This is Katherine Nightingale at Chattanooga State Community College, and this video is for Linear Algebra Web Work Homework Section 1.2, Number 9. We're given a system of linear equations with k and h on known constants, and we are asked to find what values of k um, make the system have a unique solution. Our first step when approached with any type of problem like this is to put our constants into a matrix. Now H and K are constants and so they'll be in our matrix just along with the other constants. Next I want to row reduce to echelon form which means that I want to get a zero below any leading entries. In order to do this and avoid fractions, I can do negative 8r1 plus 5r2. So multiplying each element of each row by uh, the appropriate constant, I get for negative 8r1, I get 40, negative 72, negative 8h, and for 5r2, I get negative 40, 5k, and negative 5. Adding those together, I get my resulting new row 2, which I will replace in the matrix as my new R2. Now, this is my new matrix, and it is in echelon form. I want to focus on the bottom row, and I know that there is a unique solution only if the entry 5k minus 72 is not equal to 0. So I want this entry right here to not be equal to 0. In other words, I want to have a pivot in each column, so corresponding to each variable. And if you remember from class, column 1 is my x1 column, and column 2 is my x2 column. And the numbers you see in the matrix are the coefficients of those variables. Okay, so now on a new screen, I'm going to let that 5k minus 72 be not equal to 0 and I solve this equation for k. So I get 5k is not equal to 72, so k is not equal to 72 over 5. This is the solution to the first part of the problem. k is not equal to 72 over 5. Now the second part of the problem wants to know if k is the correct value entered above, then the above system will be consistent for how many values of h? So in other words, um, if k is equal to 72 over 5, what does h have to be in order for the system to be consistent? So let's look at our augmented matrix. If k equals 72 over 5, then 5k minus 72 will equal 0. Now this will give us the augmented matrix with the bottom row being 0, 0, negative 8h minus 5, and we know that this will only be consistent if the negative 8h minus 5 is equal to 0. So this entry right here has to be equal to 0 so that we'll get a 0 equals 0. Otherwise, it will be a contradiction. So only consistent if negative 8h minus 5 equals 0, which means for a unique value of h. And that's what the problem was asking for. So you would select that it's only consistent for a unique value of h, and that concludes our solution to the problem.